everyone, this is John G, aka Mr. Go In, and today we work a little bit of back and biceps, but first we're going to start off with the abs, you know, warm that body up, doing a little bit of core work. First up is the decline sit-ups, very underrated exercise. You can put a little bit of a twist in there to hit those obliques, but for this you don't have to worry about how many you're doing just try to control the movement and use your abs try not to pull too too much with your thighs let your core and your abs do the work so next up we got hanging leg raises now I'm probably gonna do another video on this specifically because it is that important a lot of people do abs and they crunch their upper body towards their lower body but this one you're basically doing the opposite you're bringing your knees up so you're fighting gravity plus your legs are heavy anyway it's really gonna hit those lower abs try to do that you get a crazy range of motion and a nice pump now to actually hit the back we got seated rows a lot of times you see people doing this either way too heavy or way too light when it's too heavy you'll see them leaning way back and they're using their actual body weight to help move the weight or if they're doing it too light you'll see them squeeze at the peak contraction for like a good three seconds but chances are they could probably hold it for another six or seven seconds if you can do that it's too light you need to increase the weight so next we have cable lat pull downs and honestly with this i didn't like it uh i've never done the cable way i've always used um a bar so this I tried, you know, to do underhand, I didn't really feel it, and then I tried to do overhand, still didn't feel it. I actually felt it more in my biceps than in my lats, so, you know, sometimes it's good to try out new machines to see how it feels. For this one, swing and a miss. And then lastly, we got weighted pull-ups. If you can't do weighted pull-ups, just do just your own body weight pull-ups can't do body weight pull-ups do assisted weight pull-ups but you need to be doing some kind of pull-up and think about you know some kind of progression because some people are like man I weigh too heavy I can't do weighted pull-ups so that's fine but as you drop weight over time those pull-ups are gonna get a little bit easier so then that's when you want to start adding weight and the last exercise we got is just some cable curls for the biceps now on back day your biceps are usually the secondary muscle being targeted so I like to do biceps on back day because if you do back day and then the next day you do something with biceps now you've got two back-to-back -back days where you're working the same muscle group that's not beneficial for muscle growth so go ahead and finish it up thanks for watching the video shout out to my dad and my brother and my nephew little Chris for working out with me Got to get the rest of the fam back in there uh, next time. So until next time.